How well versed are you with history? When you study history, you start to see patterns that are consistent throughout different periods of time. The human condition is contingent upon being immersed somehow, some way in conflict, the conflict between good and evil. God versus Satan. You may think that this is an oversimplification. However, Jesus says in the Holy Scriptures that evil exists in order to kill, steal, and destroy. Man is in a state of continual conflict. The majority are enslaved to benefit the few. When God told Moses to go to speak to Pharaoh in Egypt, it was because for 430 years the Jewish nation was in bondage, enslaved by the Pharaohs of Egypt. The Pharaoh didn't want to lose his labor force. It was all about power, money, and wealth. The Egyptian system was entrenched. The deep state noblemen had a lot to lose if the slaves were freed. The only way that the system that existed in Egypt could be altered is through some sort of cataclysm. The most recent historic event that proved this point was 9-11. Isn't it interesting that 9-11 represents the numbers you would dial for an emergency? Isn't it interesting how the politicians of that day distanced themselves from the area, especially when the day before 9-11, Rumsfeld announced that $3 trillion was missing. All the records pertaining to that money were located in the very spot where the Pentagon was penetrated by a missile. When the light comes out, it will illuminate all things that were hidden in the dark. These were the conditions God's people were living under the Egyptians as slaves. Do you see any parallels to the conditions today? Focus on Jesus Christ, not the problems and you will see the same Jesus that protected the Israelites from the angel of death when they applied the blood of the Lamb on the doorposts of their homes is the same Jesus that will protect you and your loved ones from any calamity that is about to take place as we transition from injustice to justice and we see the same transfer of wealth that took place between the Egyptians and the children of Israel before they left Egypt for good. No natural or unnatural disaster can cause you fear or challenge your faith when you are embraced in the loving arms of Jesus Christ. Study his word and see that you are greatly loved. Jesus did it all for you. Remember, he was the lamb slain from the foundation of the world so that you may have life eternal. Share this message with everyone. Let them have hope. Remember, Jesus inscribed you upon the palms of his hands. Your walls are continually before him. God bless you.